Hey guys, what's up? It's Moses here at the Driver Success Channel, and uh, today I just want to share with you uh, a few tips on um, on taking your CDL um, test, or if you want to add hazmat or tankers or any endorsements on your test. But I think these tips work also for anyone that is taking any test. Um, these are things that I do to take my test. Um, I'm making some changes in my life. Ever since I got my um, my class A, I've never had any endorsements. I've always uh, hesitated on, on, on getting hazmat or tankers or doubles or anything like that because I didn't really feel the need to um, I was okay with uh, what I was doing and I didn't have the need to but right now I'm making some changes in my life in my life uh, we are planning on moving in a few weeks uh, from California going to Texas I'll be sharing with you more about um, about that in other videos uh, just letting you know why I'm moving and uh, just keeping you updated on how things are happening but today I just want to uh, share with you what I'm doing right now. Um, um, I, I signed up, I set an appointment in a week's time to be taking my... You see that? I'm studying for... I'm studying for my hazmat and I'm thinking probably I want to take my tankers too. So what I'm doing, I'm going to study for my hazmat and my tankers a test and take it on Wednesday. So. I'm recording this on a Wednesday and next Wednesday I'll be taking the uh, the test. So what I did is I just gave myself one week. So that's one of the uh, of the things. I give yourself time where you'll be forced to to study. Don't just put it in a in a place where you say uh uh, whenever I get to it, no, give yourself a time period. So I put myself in a dilemma. What I did is um, I went online and set up an uh, appointment to take the test on Wednesday. So that gives me one week of really studying and taking the test. Now, the way I get the time to study is every time I have a stop and they're unloading me, right now they're unloading me, I get out my, my book and I start reading. But here are some of the tips I want to give you. The way I'm doing it and hopefully I'll let you know when I if I pass and I'm thinking I will pass. But here's the, uh, the way I'm doing it. The first thing I did when I started studying is I went online and I looked for CDL tests for hazardous material, right? So I went through 25 questions. This is before I read anything. I went through 25 questions, just um, uh, reading the questions and trying to answer them. Now, some of these tests, the way they are said, when you answer a question, if you get it wrong, they let you know you got it wrong and here's the right answer. So I was just doing some guesswork using common sense. I was, uh, I ended up passing some of, uh, of the tests because if you use common sense, some of these things you can pass. But anyway, I went through 25 of them. So after going through those 25 questions, I started reading uh, the book. And the reasoning I have behind doing it that way is usually the way the, bra the brain, the way our mind works is it goes in search for answers. When you want to know something, then your mind goes in search for answers. So for me, I think if you have an opportunity to look at the questions before you even start reading, it will create a, a curiosity within your mind. You will want to know stuff. So based on that, when you go to read the book, you realize that some of the stuff that you're finding in the book, you remember you saw the question. And then um, as you read, uh, the book is divided into different sections. If you feel you're tired uh, of reading the book, then go back and do some more questions. And then come back and read the book. And then try not to uh, to read for a long time give yourself breaks when when you give yourself breaks and let your mind relax a little bit it helps you retain the information so now i'm almost done with the with a section for hazmat 
so when I'm done with that section I'm gonna go and just concentrate on just uh, taking questions so most of the days um, I'm gonna be just uh, doing questions answer as many questions as you can look for as many uh, tests as you can there are many websites out there that are giving these tests uh, what I'll do I'll put a link to some of these uh, tests on the website driversuccess.com so that those of you who want to do tests um, you can find the links in case you're looking for these uh, practice ex uh, tests you go you just do the practice take as many questions as you can concerning whatever you want to do whether you're just getting your license or endorsement uh, the more questions you answer the more the information you get now if you realize there are some questions that you continuously fail then you go back and read the book but that's the plan I'm, uh, I'm gonna use and hopefully I'll be able to pass the, uh, uh, the test I'm thinking I um, I looked at the section to do with tankers and it looks like it's a short section so I'm thinking I'm gonna read it too and then go and I, when I get there and, and realize I can do the tankers too I'll, I'll do both and see what happens but anyway, it's the first time that I'm, um, I'm taking, uh, I'm going to add an endorsement to my license. And the funny thing is, even just reading through um, uh, the material just makes me realize why I have always not wanted to do this test. But I think um, with me making this, um, this move to Texas, I need more opportunities to open up and I just need to become um, uh, to look into other areas and see I don't wanna just always do the same thing I want to see what's out there so uh, I wanna venture into other areas like uh, hazmat and uh, and see how it is as I said I'll keep you informed anyway I just wanted to to make a video just to catch up with you guys and also let you know what I'm doing what's happening in my life and just give you tips on what I'm doing ready to pass my CDL so for those of you out there that are getting your license maybe uh, for the very first time or you are studying for an endorsement or even any other test you are studying for really if you have an opportunity to look at the questions first read the questions and then when you go to read the book the material your mind will kind of be in that uh, state of looking for answers and then when you're done with the material just go back and do as many questions as you can so when you get to the test you will already know most of these things all right guys uh, until next time stay safe and stay blessed don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't yet and uh, if you're not part of the driver success family head over to driversuccess.com leave your email address so that in case i'm communicating to any of you uh, in case i'm communicating to the family to the community you can be able to get that communication until next time again stay blessed and stay safe bye bye